morning everyone welcome to another vlog i put on my story the other day if you guys are getting bored of these little vlogs and you all said no and you said you loved them so here we are with another chilled vlog i am currently just about to do my skincare although look at that bad boy and i've cut my lip it's so bad I literally bit into it, it's so painful. I am about to do my skincare and I thought I would start the vlog. So it is Saturday, the 6th of March. Can we believe that we're actually in March already? Like, that just, it's crazy. Like, I know obviously we've been in lockdown, but where the hell has those two months gone? I don't know, but it is Saturday the 6th of March and it is currently 9am. I have had a shower this morning. I've scrubbed off my fake tan, as you can probably tell. Um, and I need to do my skincare. I also did my hair yesterday. I mean, it's still a little bit um, silvery from the toner, but I did it and I'm pretty happy to be honest with you because I could not wait until hairdressers open again because my roots were just awful and the one thing that always makes me feel good is my hair as you guys know so I had to just bite the bullet and do them I'm so glad I did like they look so fresh they look very white at the minute but they will calm down um so that's that I have my cup of tea that I've just made that I think is going to be too hot to drink still I really hope not because you know when you're like I don't know if anybody else is like this if you're obsessed with tea like me and you have to have one every single morning that first sip of tea just it hits the spot you know what I mean like it tastes good the best sip of tea is always the first one of the day oh so bit too hot so yeah I thought I would come on and start the vlog by doing my skincare with you because why not um i know you guys like seeing stuff like this and i just start with my eye cream so this is the charlotte tilbury magic eye cream and i actually learned a tip on this morning the other day that you should put your eye cream on before your moisturizer because i've always done it the other way around but it's so true when you think about it because if you've got moisturizer here and then you put an eye cream on top the eye cream isn't actually getting to the eyes so thank you for that tip so i'm really glad that i found that little tip when watching this morning this morning is one of my favorite things to watch ever and um i just love it like especially when i feel anxious as well i just put on this morning if any of you guys suffer with anxiety try watching this morning i don't know what it is about it i just love it i love when holly and phil are on it i love when it's ruth and amen so any of you guys suffer with anxiety and you feel a bit anxious one day or a bit lonely put on this morning even if you just watch old ones on YouTube, if it's like the evening. Um, and I just applied my moisturiser. I'm sure you guys can guess which one. My trusty Charlotte Tilbury. That I am oh, just obsessed with. I'm not really doing much today. Um, well, I kind of am for a day in lockdown. I'm going for a socially distanced walk with Courtney. And I've not seen Courtney in so long. I miss her so much. Um, we have been for like the odd walk, but not in ages, just because obviously she's still working. Sorry guys and gals, my um, camera died on me, my battery died. Um, so yeah, I'm going to meet Courtney for a social distanced walk. Socially distanced, social distance, socially distanced walk. Um, and then later, me and Charlie need to go to the Brange, um, because I finally ordered some prints to go for my youtube backdrop which is going to go up there um i i was decided on this one set of prints and i was like right i'm going to order them blah blah blah. and then i was just scrolling through Redbubble yesterday because i wanted to look for a specific t-shirt which i found and um it literally was so meant to be like on my suggested items bear in mind i wasn't looking at prints i was literally looking at like clothes and merch and it came up with two of the dreamiest wall prints i've ever seen in my life and i was like i can't miss out on these because charlie always says to me if you see stuff on redbubble that you like order it because it gets taken down all the time so i ordered those two prints i'll actually show you in fact no i won't we're gonna wait till they're up on the wall that was a real bitchy thing for me to do i'm so sorry teasing you like that but i will show you once they've arrived i think on redbubble it can take like two weeks because i think they're like made to order so we'll just wait for them but i will show you as soon as they have arrived 
so I need to get two frames for those and the range is the cheapest so we're gonna go with the range I did look on eBay but I didn't really have many for like a good price and I don't really want to spend loads on frames because it's a frame but yes yeah, so I'm gonna go to the range later um, I might get a Starbucks a takeaway Starbucks it's really fancy and iced matcha latte I had one on Sunday and it was so good so I'm gonna have an iced matcha latte and just have a bit of a chilled Saturday. I always like to try and plan at least something on a Saturday, like even just going to get a takeaway Starbucks because it just makes the weekend feel like a weekend in lockdown. So that's what we're going to do. But also, oh my God, you would have seen on my Instagram story, if you follow me on there, that I received the best package that I've probably ever received. I'm so, so lucky that this brand, um, sent these to me because I just couldn't believe it like and it arrived and it was just even better than I ever thought it would be so yeah um I got some some stuff from Lee Stafford hair and I love Lee Stafford as a brand I love everything they stand for I love their branding so like everything's pink that is just my kind of vibe as you guys know and they just sent me a bunch of stuff I'll just quickly show you what I've got um and what they put in here because there's quite a lot at some point this week i will try out a couple of the products and let you know what they're like because i'm really excited to do that so i will be showing you but this is my favorite thing in the whole box and it is this baby pink and black obviously the bristles are black blowout brush and it has coconut oil infused in the bristles which is just me like I love baby pink I love black and coconut oil is what I have in all of my hair products because I swear by it and this is just the best thing they could have ever sent me to be honest with you um I love it so I can't wait to try that and then they sent me a brush to comb out curls when you've curled your hair uh, they sent a back comber, a little pink one, and these are all pink, which just makes me so happy. And I actually really needed a back comber because I was using one of my hair brushes, but it doesn't really do the job. Like, it's good to back comb your root when you put your extensions in. Um, so, really happy with that. And then they also sent a big shower comb. So, when you've got conditioner in your hair or a treatment, you can brush it through with this and it's not going to, like, snap or pull your hair. And it also spreads all the conditioner through, which is really, really good. Then they sent me some of their bleach blondes range, which I didn't even know they did. Obviously, perfect for me. So, I've got the bleach blonde toning shampoo. This is the ice white one. And it basically just gets rid of, like, warm tones in your hair, which I'd, I don't mind a slight warm tone, but I don't like it, my hair to be yellow or brassy. Like, I cannot stand that. So, this is going to be really, really good. And there's always a point in the month where my hair starts to go a little bit yellowy, like it, like it was last week. Um, and I always like to use a bit of, like... I call it anti-yellow shampoo, but obviously it's like silver shampoo. Um, and this is the matching conditioner. And then they also sent the Bleach Blonde Ice White Toning Treatment, which I'm really excited for to try. And the Bleach Blonde Tone Correcting Conditioning Spray, which I've never heard of this. I didn't even know this existed. Um, and how do you use it? Shake thoroughly until glistening particles are dispersed. Spray evenly on towel dried hair from roots to tip and comb through and then just style hair as normal. If you have bleach blonde hair and you know what I'm talking about when you get like makeup stains or fake tan stains around your hairline, it's so annoying but sometimes it can't be avoided. I think that's for that sort of situation so that will be very, very helpful. And then they sent a hairspray which I was running out of so I'm really, really grateful for that. I'm sure Charlie will be stealing it at one point because he loves hairspray. And they sent this which I'm really excited to try. It's a double blow mousse um so you basically put it in like wet hair or towel dried hair and then you blow dry and it's all big bouncy and voluminous which i love so i've got that they sent a shine spray and i think you just spray it when your hair's um just completely like dry i'll probably use this for my hair straight because that'll give it a little bit of a shine so i'm really excited to try this one i'm so excited to try it all like I just can't believe it. I'm so grateful. And then the last thing they sent me, which probably is my second favourite to the brush, is this Coco Loco with Agave Shine Oil. And this is an oil to make hair silkier and softer whilst banishing frizz, which I need, girl. I bleach my hair 
I get frizz. Um, it's just part of it, so there you go. And yeah, so I'm really excited to try this. The packaging is baby pink. I literally live for anything coconut for my hair, like my shampoo's coconut in it, my conditioner has coconut oil in it, everything I like to have coconut oil because that is how I keep my hair very healthy and shiny. So really, really happy with that and it smells dreamy. Like when it arrived, me and Charlie were smelling all the products and it smells so good. Like this is the best smelling one. I cannot wait to try this one. It just looks so cute. Pink and coconut, which I love. So thank you so much to Lisa for sending me all of those amazing products. I cannot wait to try it and I definitely will be giving it a go this week um, and trying out all the bits. So cannot wait for that. Just wanted to start off this vlog to be honest with you. I've got some exciting videos coming soon. Um, I'm just waiting for bits and bobs, so stay tuned for some exciting videos. I've got a haul that I'm really excited for, I've got a collab that I am buzzing for, and well, so I've got a fun food video, so lots of fun videos coming soon, and I will probably see you guys either later on today or whenever to be honest with you because this is just gonna be a chill vlog like we're just gonna chill we're gonna do bits and bobs potter around go to the range because i need to get frames and just do bits like that i'm gonna go ahead drink my tea get ready to go on my little walk i'm not gonna wear any makeup because i really cannot bother and this spot needs to go my camera's gonna die again so i will see you guys when i see you me and Charlie have come to the range because I need to get two frames. And what do you need to get? Oh. You need to get picture frames. Picture frames and chopsticks. Because I'm making Charlie tonight. Ramen. Ramen for the first time. I'm going to make it plain because Charlie is probably the plainest eater you ever meet in your life. So I'm going to make him a plain chicken ramen. For dinner, so we need chopsticks. I'm gonna teach you how to use chopsticks. Yeah, you are, aren't you? Mm -hmm. And yeah, looking very pale, very pasty, like a ghost. How yeah, you do, like a ghost? And then my hair blends into my skin, it's bad. What was it? The hair on your head. Oh, nice. We're just killing oh, the that's range. Insane. That's lucky, you should have made a wish. <laughs> oh, sorry, mate. You catch an eyelash. <laughs> We've got the two frames and. Baby chopsticks, so I can teach Charlie how to use chopsticks. I didn't have any normal ones, so I just picked up one for myself as well. Obviously a pink one, and then we've just got... Show this, look what Charlie found in the range. Uh, what are the chances of that? I had them at Halloween time, but I searched for them loads and just never could find them. Pumpkins, I missed you. Hey everyone. Um, the spot was getting worse. I don't know how. Obviously, I showed you this spot in a previous clip on this vlog, and it doesn't seem to have gotten better over the past three days. It seems to have gotten worse. Worst? Worse? Gotten worse? Apparently, I can't speak English anymore. Is it worse or worst? I think it's worse. Someone correct me if I'm wrong. Um, but yeah, my spot seems to have gotten worse than it was, and... So I've had to resort to putting pseudocream on and I only ever do that if the spot is really, really bad. So that just says it all, which is great. Um, I'm currently sat. I have just made a cup of tea. Absolutely banging. Um, I think like my fifth or sixth tea of the day and it is only... What's the time, you ask? Oh, it's five o'clock. Okay, it's five o'clock. But still, that's a lot of cup of teas in the day. But, um... You know um but i'm currently sat with my cup of tea with my snacks in the pjs because it's that kind of day i've been listing stuff on depop all day i'll leave my depop in the description box in case you guys want to check it out and um, there's just all like bits on there that i'm selling um that kind of thing and i've been watching some youtube i've edited a video and i just feel so inspired at the moment like I don't know if anybody else understands when I say this, but you know when you feel so inspired, but just not motivated? Like, and I've never felt like this before, I don't think, anyway. But I feel so inspired for content and, like, for outfits and Instagram and YouTube and TikTok and everything. But I just don't feel, like, I feel motivated, but I don't feel to the level that I need to feel to do what I feel inspired to do, if that makes sense. 
it's just so weird like i feel really weird i think i just need to give myself a bit of a push um to do it all but yeah i just feel really like creatively inspired at the moment which is really really good and i need to act upon that because if you're creative you know and you understand that when you get your little creative periods you just have to like go with it do you know what i mean because it doesn't always come around i feel really really inspired so i think i'm gonna have this and sit on my phone and just write out ideas plan the week plan next week but it's kind of annoying because i have some really really good videos i'm going to film um like i said earlier like a food one that's come in that's really different that i'm so excited for i've got a really good haul i've got an amazing collaboration with a brand but all three of those videos two of them i can't film until i've sorted my backdrop but i'm waiting for my prints to arrive for my backdrop um, and i could obviously do it before but i just i don't know it would bother me to have a crap backdrop for a good video so i'm just gonna wait but hopefully they'll be here towards the end of this week then i can film both of those videos and then the collaboration i'm waiting for the brand to give me the go ahead so yeah it's a bit difficult um because i have all these things that i want to film but i can't until certain things and i have like loads of instagram ideas that i can't do until i've done other things and things have arrived like it's just a very frustrating time because i feel so like creative and i feel so inspired at the moment but i can't put it into practice um and because i'm like waiting for different things and whatever but it is what it is i'm gonna write all my ideas down and that kind of thing whilst i feel creative um and i just have so much energy today it's crazy i felt anxious all morning i don't know why i just had this horrible wave of anxiety over me and it's because like obviously i'm on furlough at the moment like a lot of us are and i'm so excited to go back to work because i love my job so much and i love who i work with but it's still like oh, oh my god you know what i mean like i can go back to work on the 12th of april um i think i'm gonna go back just before for some bits but yeah i just feel nervous i think it's to do with that but i don't know um but i think everybody's kind of feeling it like hopefully the end is going to be near of the whole pandemic but i don't know e even that is like a good thing but it's still scary because like i've been in this whole pandemic for like a year now and it's just like what it's so crazy um but we'll all be fine guys you just gotta stay positive keep your mind busy because otherwise you do what i always do is just sit there overthinking and you just get anxious and you feel like crying into a ball um but we don't want that obviously if you need to cry have a little cry but you know let's pick each other up let's get through this together because we will a little bit nervous but i'm excited at the same time it's like a mixture of nerves and excitement um but yeah that was my morning felt a bit anxious but i'm fine now i don't know what i'm gonna have for dinner yet I'm not really sure um i'm not really hungry at the moment like I, I haven't got a big appetite at the moment it's really weird i don't even fancy takeaways like child was like you want to get a takeaway at the weekend but i shouldn't fancy it i just had sushi instead from waitrose which in my opinion is better than a takeaway anyway because i am a massive sushi lover um so i had that at the weekend me and charlie just chilled yesterday by the way it's monday if you're wondering um i think i last spoke to you on saturday when me and charlie went to the range and i got two picture frames which i'll show you they're in the boot of my car but i'll get them out at some point um and show you just wanted to come and say hi on the vlog because i enjoy vlogging it makes me happy and i love speaking to you guys even though you don't reply because this isn't live but it's still nice to talk to you um, and thank you so much for all the love on my recent video the one where charlie turned me into a goth like people loved it so thank you so so much i really really hope you enjoy that video we loved it and if you haven't seen it go and see it because if you're used to this cheer just you wait till you see that cheer because she she was scary let's just put it that way she was scary she was terrifying you wouldn't want her to walk into your room at night she was scary just in case any of you are having a bad day and you want to see something adorable this is Maisie and then egg at the back all curled up aren't you babies they're literally fast asleep they cannot hear me but how cute they are good morning everyone 
Um, it is now, what day is it? Tuesday, so the next day, and I have just washed my hair this morning because it was a little greasy, to say the least, and I thought that once I've washed it, I can show you guys some of the products that Lee Stafford sent me, so we can try a couple of them out. They did obviously send me the shampoo and conditioner for bleach blonde. It's like a toning um, shampoo and conditioner, but I have just toned my hair last week, so I don't need to do it for another like three weeks. So in three weeks, I will definitely try this, but it doesn't need toning at the moment, but it definitely will do because it gets like brassy at a certain time of the month. I think I already told you, but that is when I will be trying out the toning shampoo and conditioner and also the treatment and the color correcting spray. But I'm gonna try out a few of the other products because I'm very excited. And I have freshly washed my hair. I use the Shea Moisture um, Coconut Oil Shampoo. I've just brushed out my hair and I'm gonna apply the Coco Loco um, Agave Shine Oil. This is the one that I, I've been waiting to try because it just smells so good. And I put a little bit on my extensions yesterday because I washed my extensions yesterday and it made them smell amazing. So I cannot wait to try this on my natural hair. So just pump it, put it in my hands and then run it through. And it just smells insane. Like, I love the smell of coconut anyway, but this is just next level. It smells so good. By the way, I'm very aware that I have fake tan hands. I tried a new tan last night and it is unbelievable. But it doesn't have a guide colour and I thought, oh, I won't need to wash my hands. I should have read the bottle and washed my hands, but I didn't. But I've learned from that mistake now because I have yellow hands. But my actual tan is unbelievable. Like, I'm not even just saying this. It's the best tan that I've ever used and it's the least, like, streaky or patchy tan that I've ever used. Like, I have no streaks apart from my hands. But that's my fault because I didn't read the thing and um, wash them. But the rest of my tan is just 10 out of 10. But I am filming a video for it for next week. So stay tuned for that because you will see what tan I use. And also a very slight quick tan routine which I've been asked to do for ages. So that is that. But I am going to now blow dry my hair. Oh no I'm not. I'm going to try another product go for it and try another one we'll try the double blow mousse and this is um like a mousse before you blow dry your hair i think let me just read this so you apply half a handful evenly onto wet hair not forgetting the roots then blow dry accordingly okay so i think it's like volume and that kind of thing which i love i love big bouncy hair just gonna pump a bit Half a handful. Oh, Christ. Oh, it's freezing cold. Oh, this is so much fun. Okay, maybe that's a bit too much. Um, I'm just going to wipe some of that away. I didn't realise it expands. I do love trying new products, but I just get so nervous I'm doing it wrong. Um, but I'm sure we'll be fine. It does smell really nice. It smells like strawberries like a berry sort of smell it's really really nice i really can't stand when my hair is like really flat unless i want it for like a really straight sleek look it's different but for day to day i really hate flat hair on me i mean it suits some people but it definitely does not suit me at all next i'm going to try my favorite thing in the whole box oh i need scissors for this so lazy to get up and get scissors right i'll be back i'm going to get scissors and cut this out and then we can try it i'm now going to blow dry my hair obviously i can't talk whilst i do this because you will not be able to hear me but i'm going to blow dry my hair with this brush and my hair dryer this is the babyliss hair dryer so i'm going to blow dry my hair i've obviously got the mousse in so we will see what the volume is like and also what this is like to use and then i will be back to show you my hair Party downtown, someone said that you're coming by Let me know when you're here, meet me up for a smoke outside
Did I wake you? You're too cute. Very cute. Good boy. Oh, is that nice? Oh, that looks lovely. It is now Thursday, and me and Egg are just sitting here. We just had some lunch, or I had some lunch. Um, I had some spaghetti hoops because I was craving them. So I had spaghetti hoops and hot sauce. If you've never tried it and you like spicy food, mix hot sauce with spaghetti hoops. Like, it sounds gross, it's actually so good. So I've just had that and it is Thursday today. So the day before you're watching this and I need to edit this vlog and get it uploaded so that tomorrow you can watch it. I feel like it's been a bit of a weird vlog, a bit random. You guys said that you were enjoying vlogs, so I thought, why not? And I also did want to show you the new um, Lee Stafford stuff that they very kindly sent me that I am so, so grateful for. So thank you so much, Lee Stafford, for gifting me those products. My hair is obviously up now, but it literally feels amazing from that oil and um, using the blow dry brush. Like I just went really smooth and it's it stayed smooth as well. Like normally if I blow dry it, say like on a Wednesday, then the next day. Oh my god, no, it's not Thursday today. Why am I lying to you saying it's Thursday? It's not, it's Wednesday today. And when you're watching it, it will be Thursday. Is that right? Yeah, it's Wednesday today. But anyways, so say if I wash my hair and like blow dry it on the Tuesday, then on the Wednesday... It normally doesn't feel as smooth, but still today, it feels so, so smooth and I love it. I'm also looking very brown, so if you want to know what tan I use and what tan I tried out, stay tuned for a video either Sunday or Thursday, where I'll be sharing with you my new tan. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I'm going to edit it and get it uploaded for tomorrow. Um, and I really, really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, sorry if it's been a bit of a random, like, mishmash vlog. I haven't obviously watched it back yet, so I don't know what it's going to be like. But hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. Just seeing what I've been up to, that kind of thing. I'm just in the middle of watching The Oprah with Meghan and Harry. And can I just say... Megan, I don't know if you guys watched it, if you did, like, you'll know what I mean, but Megan just came across, and I'm only halfway in, but she comes across so well, like, I don't understand why people give her so much hate, obviously, everybody's entitled to their opinions, of course, but it's similar with Molly May, and that they're both such, obviously, they're very different, but they're both such beautiful girls, inside and out, and they come across so well, but they both get so much hate for every little thing that they do. And I, just, I don't understand it. I think people have got too much time on their hands. I'm not going to get too much into it because, you know, a very controversial subject in the UK. But, yeah, I love Megan. I think she's amazing. She's so, so beautiful. She seems genuine. And I highly recommend watching this. I can't wait to watch the second half because it's really good and it really opens your eyes as well. Um, but yeah, I just think people have too much time on their hands to be putting energy into not liking someone who they don't even know. Like, I know newspapers and stuff write stories about celebrities and everything, but remember guys, don't believe everything you hear because most of the time it is from someone who has a bee in their bonnet or jealousy and they just spread rumours. So yeah, be open-minded and I just don't understand why random people who have no relevance to that person's life have such a strong opinion on them like it just it doesn't make sense to me i really don't have the time to be sitting there slating someone who i don't even know um and it just frustrates me but yeah watch the interview because it's really really good it's like 
an hour and 53 minutes so it's quite long but it's really really good and i love oprah i think she's so funny so i'm glad that she's doing an interview with megan and harry eggs decided to wash me Are you washing my hand thank you did i need a wash anyway thank you so much for watching this video guys i hope that you all loved it i've got like i said some fun videos coming up so definitely stay tuned for those and let me know if there's anything in particular you guys want me to film it is friday tomorrow so the best day of the week so have the best weekend get yourself a nice takeaway watch a nice film or a series and just have a really chilled happy positive weekend i'm sending my love to each and every one of you and i just hope you're all okay the end is near guys we're gonna get through this we haven't got long left but i feel like the last streak of this whole thing is going to feel like the weirdest and the longest but we've got this let's be positive and have the best weekend i love you all so much sending you all my love all the best positivity vibes and i will see you in my next video bye